Hi and welcome to Note with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today I've got all the information you need to know as a beginner looking at a ball band. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And we're looking at ball bands today. And the ball band is this piece of paper, this piece of card that sits around the ball of yarn to give you all of the information you need to know. Now, as a beginner, these can be a bit overwhelming because there's so much information. And all of the yarn manufacturers look at them and they decide they're going to write them possibly in a different way. They might put different information on it in different places. Some will have more information about one thing or the other and it can get confusing. So what do you actually need to know as a beginner, just looking at yarn to start with and choosing which yarn to knit with? Well, yesterday I recorded something for you to just look at it as a beginner and find what is really important and what exactly you can ignore. So there you go. Go and have a look at that and I'll see you at the end. So let's look at this one ball of yarn then. When it comes to the ball band, it can become a habit for knitters to quite simply go, oh, that's interesting, I'll look straight at the back because there's more information there. Okay, so what we need to do is remember to look at the front. There can be a lot of information here and it can be really, really helpful. So I definitely recommend looking at the front of the ball band as well as the back. Let's just read that. West Yorkshire Spinners tells us that West Yorkshire Spinners is the manufacturing company. We then discover that Chunky Roving Retreat Yarn is the name of it. But Chunky and Roving also tells us about the thickness of the yarn. A lot of manufacturers will actually give away the thickness in the title of the yarn, in the name of the yarn. So that can be really, really helpful. What it then also says is this is 100% blue-faced Kerry Hill. That's the name of the um, sheep, which means that this is 100% wool. And it also says reared, sheared and spun in Britain. That's great. You may say, right, I'm having that. No issue. No question. I want a chunky yarn. I want it 100% wool. And I really would love it to be made in my local um in my local country or even locally to me even more. If it's West Yorkshire, these sheep are very likely reared, sheared and spun in Britain. In that case, if you live in Hull, then you know that it's really, really close and it's a, not had to use much of a carbon footprint to get to you. So what we now do is turn it over. We know all of that already. Isn't that amazing? So the name has told us so much and the little bit of information on the front of the ball band has told us so much as well. But as a beginner knitter, how much of that do you need? Well, to be perfectly honest, you could look at that and go, I'm knitting with it. That's that. You know that it's 100% wool. You know that it's chunky wool. You possibly like the colour and you like the feel of it. Go for it. That's fine. But if you just want to double check everything, then there are just a couple of things that you can check on the back of the ball band. So again, this tells us more about the manufacturer. There's the um, website there for you to take a look at. That is more of the colour information. Those codes there will tell you the colour information. But we look at that and we go, that's a nice colour. I fancy knitting with that. Okay, this is more for the stockists, the shops, the retailers. If they want to order more, that's really their information that we don't need to know. As a beginner knitter, it's not that important. So what do we do now? We can look at this and double check everything. It's telling us that it's chunky roving yarn. Fabulous. Chunky roving yarn, just what I need. That is the thickness. And if you look at my other videos that talk about the weight and the thickness of yarn, then you will know that the names have just evolved in different parts of the world, but we call the same thicknesses of yarn different things. So they've used two words here to just clarify for us. Chunky is mostly used in the UK. Roving is another word that's used elsewhere in the world for this thickness of yarn. So you're on. Spot on there. You know what you've got. And it also is clarified with the thickness of the needles that you're going to use. This is a great way. If it doesn't tell you anywhere else on the ball band exactly what thickness of yarn it is, by finding out what size needles you're going to use to knit this yarn up, then you're pretty much spot on 
going to be able to work out which thickness of yarn it is. I do that a lot. I just go and look at the thickness of the needles that you use to knit this yarn up. 6.5 millimeter needles is your average chunky yarn. If your pattern says use a chunky yarn and use six and a half millimeter needles, there you go. You've got the right thing. This can also be really helpful and I would definitely say look at this as a beginner knitter too. How much effort do you want to put into washing what it is that you make? How often are you actually likely to wash what you make once you've knitted this up? Do not tumble dry, reshape whilst damp and then there are little symbols here that say do not tumble dry and wash by hand. So if you're willing to do that then go ahead. Also you will need to know the weight of the ball of yarn and that's oh, that is going to be there sitting on every single ball of yarn that you see. So there you go. We need to know the weight of the yarn, double check with the thickness of the needles, look at the washing instructions just so that you're aware of it and then the fourth thing is the fibre that goes into it. This is 100% blue faced Kerry Hill wool. There you go, that's that. And then it's about colour preference, how does it feel, and you're ready to knit. So I hope that was helpful. You now know how to look at a ball of yarn and not get too confused. And if you'd like more information about yarn, if you want to know more about the fibres, about the different thicknesses, then I do have this new course. Um, I released it in January this year. It's now available as a self-study course. So do go and have a look on that, uh, that on my website. It's got all sorts of things in there, all about yarn, how you choose yarn as a beginner knitter, which ones you should avoid, and which ones would be better for you to knit with as a beginner. All about the jargon that you come across, the knitting language. I've got lots of videos in there about fixing mistakes too, because that's something the beginner knitter needs to do. I know I've made mistakes in my life and I still make mistakes when I'm knitting. So it's just, it's a right of passage and having the information there to help you fix them is a big part of it too. I'm also going to a lot more information in that course. It's just supporting you as a beginner knitter, giving you that little background knowledge that will really help you and move you forward as a knitter, help you be more confident. And of course, I'll be back next week with more nitty videos. Um, I'm here every Tuesday, every week. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit the little bell. That will make sure that YouTube gives you notifications every time I uh, release a new video, every Tuesday, every week. Right, I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye for now. Happy knitting.